typographic manipulation and effects can be done using Photoshop. In the following exercise, users will take ordinary text and turn it into a neon sign. Before we get started, let's locate and open data file neon.psd. Afterwards, in the Layers panel, hold down the Control key and click on the Layer 1 Layer thumbnail to load the word on the canvas as a selection. Once your selection's been made, click on Layer 1. Then go to the Select menu, point to Modify, and select Expand. Let's expand our selection by 8 pixels. Afterwards, click on the OK button. Let's create a new layer by going to the Layer menu, then New, and select Layer. We're not going to rename this layer, so just click on the OK button. Now let's fill our selection with a popular neon color. Let's go to the Edit menu, select Fill, then click on the Use drop-down arrow to select Color. I'm going to choose a neon green color, but you can use whichever color you'd like. When you're finished, click on the OK button. Then OK again. Then back on the canvas, let's hold down the Control key and click on the Layer 1 Layer thumbnail. Afterwards, let's turn the visibility icon off on Layer 1. Then go to the Select menu and deselect. Now let's add a little bit more effect to our neon sign. Let's use the Zoom tool to zoom in on our image. Then using the Eraser tool, create breaks in the lettering. Now that we're finished with that, let's add a layer style to give the neon sign a little bit more glow. Go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the Add Layer Style icon. Then select Outer Glow. Click on the size slider and increase it to about 15 pixels. Then let's change the color of our glow to the same neon green that we used for the text. To do this, Click outside of the Color Picker dialog box and directly onto the text in order to sample that same color. After you're done, click on the OK button. Next, let's add a little bevel and emboss. The default settings are fine, so click on the OK button. Let's use the Zoom tool and click on the Fit Screen button. 